What's going on, you guys? I told you I'm gonna do a video on the simplest way to do click tracks. Okay, I'm in my church. Basically, I'm gonna put all the links to all the equipment in the description box. Okay, so basically, what you wanna do, go to musicianfriends.com, okay? And basically, Get this, this is a headphone amplifier. Basically, you got an input here, and you got outputs. This is like 25 bucks, guys, and you got a power source. So basically, whatever you put in here, everyone else can hear. You don't have to do this for click track. Let's say, for some reason, everybody can't hardly hear you, your musician can't hardly hear you play. You get you a, uh, Split the output from the keyboard, put it in here or whatever. But since we're doing click tracks, I got this right here. Got that one four chord connected to my phone. And as you can see, I got my phone, uh, I got a adapter so I can hook up to my headphones. So I got my click tracks on my phone. And you can use, I mean, you can use your iPhone, whatever, okay? I'm gonna put all these little trinklets in the description box, all the chords. So let me play some right quick. Uh, I'm gonna play, y'all hear that? Okay, so I'm playing a click track, all right? This is me playing. So, that goes to the box. Now, how you're hearing this is because this chord right here, this instrument cable, you know, your keyboard chord, that's in headphone jack number four. And I can turn it down. It's coming through the speaker. So I got that chord. And that chord, I'm going to show you where it's at. Coming all the way to our mixer. And you can plug it up into either one. Of course, I can, you know, adjust it, turn it down, turn it up. I, I hope y'all can hear it, but it's coming through the speakers, okay? So that chord will be, I'm going to go back to this. That chord will be in either one of these headphone jacks. I just chose number four. Okay, now this chord... This is for my headphones. Of course, you can't hear it, but it's sound coming through here too. So even though it's coming through the speakers, when people start singing, drummers and stuff, you still want to hear it. So I got my headphones on, okay? And then you got two more headphone jacks, as you can see. So put one here for the drummer. If you got another keyboard player, he could put one. You know, or if you got an on stage amp, you can put into your keyboard amp as well. So, I mean, and this is simple. This is now it's more advanced way, but it's a simple way for you to do this like these. These cords are like six to ten dollars each. And you may already have all these little keyboard cords laying around at the church. You may have this. Oh yeah, that's another thing. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that. That's a, a, a update. So when you playing your click track, make sure you're on airplane mode so you won't get no phone calls <laughs> doing church service. I think I'm just gonna get me another cheap iPad or something just for click track because I don't want people calling me while I'm trying to do this or whatever. Um, and basically that's simple. Like I said before, this right here, this right here is going to my phone input. And then you can choose, uh, this is going to the mixer. This is my headphones, you got two more, maybe for the drummer or whatever. I gotta find another way to put this because usually I have my music on this music stand. So uh, you could probably put it on your keyboard. You know me, I'm gonna be ghetto. So whenever I'm traveling, I'm gonna put me some Velcro, but it's kind of heavy. So you ain't gotta worry about it moving around, but that's a simple way to get click tracks. Now, 
I can show you other ways, but this is just a simple way, especially if you have a small church or even a big church. This is a simple way for you guys to get click, hear click tracks. Now, if you guys want to hear the keyboard player and everybody else with you, that's a whole other video. There's other equipment for that, but this is just a basic equipment. Um, if you just want to hear the click track. Now, if you want to hear other stuff, like I want to hear the... I want to hear the keyboard players. I want to hear uh, the drummer. There's other equipment for that. I mean, that's a whole other video, but and that's simple, guys. I mean, this right here, 25 bucks. These little things like ten dollars, six dollars. You may already have this stuff. That's like what three, four dollars. The little adapter and uh, <clears throat> these click tracks are like 99 cents each. And there's a video on my YouTube page showing you guys some free click tracks. And I mean, you can have anything. Um, I mean, it's so many. These are just generic stuff. You know, little stuff you want to play with, you know. And you just play with it. Of course, it sounds better with the drama and everything. So, you know, little stuff like that. Keep you on beat, and it adds a little bit more flavor to the uh, to the service. You know, my drama over here, he had him some headphones, like I was saying. So he'll be able to hear the click track. So, I mean, simple way, uh, very economical. I'm going to put the... Um, all the little chords and stuff I have up here in my YouTube description box. So head over to my YouTube page for more videos and put in, put in there anything else you want me to show you guys. But be blessed. Have a great week. Also, guys, another thing on here, what I like about this thing is, if it'll focus, okay. Let's say the drama say, hey, man, it's too loud. Okay. Guess what? You can turn his down. Or he said, I can't hardly hear the click track. You can turn his up. See, it's individual monitor. So you can turn his down or turn his up. So that's all I want to show you.